So back in 1850, a railway between Rugby and Market Harbour was opened and it was originally a single track line, but it later doubled to a double track formation. And as the services got busier and busier around Rugby, a deviation or a loop line was required to skip along from a place called Clifton Mill Junction just outside of Rugby and then join on to the Market Harbour line. So today we've come to look at a little known viaduct and it was part of this short little loop line between Rugby and Clifton Mill Station. And it was even briefly for a short period of time before closure in 1966 electrified. Here's a nice little photo of a Class 31 locomotive showing what it was like leaving Clifton Mill Station and on towards this very loop. So if you zoom in to realmaponline.com you can see Rugby Station is on our left and if we follow the purple routes away from the centre of the station and up towards the top of the map you can see there are two different routes and one of them has got a distinct curve to it and that is where our viaduct lays. And just beyond the junction which links both lines back together there was Clifton Mill Station right about here. And a quick glance at this map from Scottish Maps dating around about 1898 you can clearly see the outlay of the railway lines and the loop line crossing over the Clifton Brook. So right here the viaduct it swept around you got Rugby Station just over there and it swept around crossed over what is now the golf course and it comes to here the Oxford Canal is right behind this hedgerow just here so it show you there's the embankment there where it would have been and there would have been a bridge here and over the top we've got ourselves a narrowboat look and you can see the trajectory of the line as it headed off towards Market Harbour and Stamford now I don't think this is going to be a way up to the viaduct I think it's going to be too overgrown but I may well just give it a go Now there's a little warm path coming up the side, look. And it has got us up top. I'm quite excited to see whether we can actually get through to the top of the viaduct. You can see how high I am on the embankment. Let's keep pushing on. You kind of as expected it is security fenced off, which makes sense really for health and safety purposes. So there's the abutment slot and the embankment down and there it is the same on the other side. So I'm going to get myself back down, just give you a little poke through so you can see. So stood on the eastern side, there is an archway just out of sight behind that central tree, giving us from right to left 12 archways. It's exactly the same. The furthest archway is absolutely covered in ivy and other kind of uh, bushes and vegetation. What a stunning structure this is, hidden away, nestled away. We've got the canal, Oxford Canal on that side. We've got the railway and the former Great Central Line is a stone throw over on the opposite side. It looks in remarkable condition, doesn't it? Really looked after. Out of use for around about 50 years. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to make myself over to the other side and see if there's any potential to even just get up to the edge of the viaduct up the top. Because I believe it's still going to be fenced off as it is at that end, but it's still worth having a nosy if we can do so.
a curious little bit look below the central arch this is the Clifton Brook heading west over there and it's almost like a semi culvert look it's not a culvert but it's got that blue brick which is guiding it through this central archway that's really nice isn't it there we are back on the western side and the curve of the line goes around in that trajectory towards the current rugby station as we get to this side on the southern side you can see railway sleeves have been used to kind of landscape between the archways for the next two arches let's get over to the next one look exactly the same wouldn't it be nice to think that these particular sleepers came from up there So looking back we've come around and you can see the trees and the bushes are marking the line of the track bed the route and it's that curve i was telling you about earlier look. and that is shooting off to where it would have formerly joined onto what is now the active line at rugby and the station we're getting closer and closer to the top the track bed level is coming down to my level so i'm hoping to get onto there and it was out of use since 1966 and it's at this point the line came away from the viaduct went over there and joined on to the west coast main line which is just the other side of that hedge line and the station is just a short distance further down Remarkably, look, we're on top. It was open. How fantastic was that? You can see our brick side walls and the curve going off, look. This is remarkable, isn't it? Slowly, slowly make my way down. It looks like it's had all its undergrowth trimmed down at some point. So there's a lot of broken ones. And there we are, looking east. Canal there, great central line over there rugby station over there and the canal again over there and the former line shooting off just over there plenty of ballast on the ground look Absolutely amazing. I'm really, really pleased I came and had a look. Side walling, looking in. Marvellous condition. Hopefully I've got quite a bit of drone footage to show you as well. It's quite cloudy this morning, but last night I did some in the evening where there was a beautiful sunset. And here we go look at the other end absolutely astounding absolutely pleased that i got to see this that's where we scrambled up at the beginning of the film and it's fenced off on the other side let's get back down to ground level
So thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it very, very much. There's more to come. And if you've not seen any of the back catalogue, please subscribe and have a look. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.